Today I have the Ryobi 18 volt 3 amp hour and this is a brand new battery. I just haven't used it for a long time. And when I press on this button here, there's no lights coming out. When I put in my charger, it blinks. Both lights blink. That means the battery is dead. Now let's measure the voltage out of the main terminal. I got negative voltage? Negative <laughs> negative 1.6 millivolts. This is a brand new battery. I haven't even used it. It's just been in the storage for a long time. And today is my first time taking it out of the box. And it's already dead. That shows the genius of Bryobi engineers to create a BMS to discharge it down to nothing if you don't use it. So now am I going to be able to revive it using the jump start method? Let's find out. I'm going to use my DeWalt 20 volt power tool battery here to boost up the voltage of this Ryobi battery. And currently the DeWalt battery is at 20.3 volts. And now we're just going to connect positive to positive and negative to negative. Absolutely zero. There's no current going through this wire. So it's not charging. We've got about 10 seconds of charge. Let's double check with my voltmeter here. It quickly goes down to almost zero volts. So it's uh, not charging the Ryobi battery this way. These terminals have to go through the BMS. So what happens if we do the same thing but we bypass the BMS? Let's open this up. Here is the inside of the battery pack. We got the positive terminal here. It goes down to these two cells here. So this is the main positive terminal of the whole pack. On this side, we got the negative terminal and it goes here. And these two cells are the main negative terminal of the whole pack. Now I'm going to connect directly between the DeWalt and the Ryobi batteries between the main terminals. All right, here we go. Wow! Immediately, you see this light, this test light here? We got one bar. That's amazing. And we got 8 amps charging between from the, the wall to the Ryobi. That is pretty good. That's good news. Especially, I see this light here it goes up to one bar. Alright, so I got about 10 seconds of charge. Let's see the voltage. Well, that's amazing 11.6 volts and it's holding it's going down but not too fast so that's good so I'm gonna charge it a little bit more maybe another 10 to 20 seconds while this is charging the Ryobi let's check on the voltage at the main terminal this terminal goes through the BMS Let's see what we got. 17.3 volts. So that is pretty good. Alright, so I've got about 30 seconds of charge. I'm going to put it back in the case and uh, try it on my charger. See if it works. Alright, I'm just going to put it in temporarily uh, without the clips. I don't need the clip right now. I just need a, this piece of plastic so I can push it in here in the charger. But first, let's double check on the voltage of the battery 14.8 volts now I've got my charger ready let's put it on the charger and see what we got okay blinking red blinking green that is good that means it's working so right here that means the battery is charging and we can see the state of charge LED is blinking I just plugged the charger in my kilowatt and it's showing 36, 37 watts going through the battery, through the charger. So that means there's power flowing through the battery and actually the battery is getting warm. So that means it's taking a charge. It's been about two hours 
and the battery is now full you can see this light here is solid that means done charging let's check on the uh, battery gauge here see what we got four bars so the battery is 100% full and let's take a look at my kilowatt meter here take a look at the amount of power that goes into the battery we got 0 0.06 kilowatt hour and if you look at the battery here the capacity printed on here 54 watt hour got 60 here 54 here so it's actually putting a hundred percent of charge into the battery and let's take this out and then we'll check on the uh, voltage of the battery let's see how many volts we got on here 19.87 volts so battery is 100% full so there you have it how to revive a brand new dead Ryobi battery that's been poisoned by the BMS down to zero volts so basically you cannot revive the battery by jump starting the two main terminals on here because it goes through the BMS and the BMS would not let you do that instead use the main battery terminal directly and just jump start directly onto this terminal and bypassing the BMS and now we have all four bars that's all I have for now folks thanks for watching see you next time